Vladimir Putin and his inner circle. This project started with the Russian invasion of Ukraine. It just did not seem rational in any logically oriented sense of the word. Ukraine was not threatening Russia, and the invasion cost Russia an enormous amount in terms of international prestige, its economy, and even its concern about NATO, a defense alliance that previously was struggling for a reason to exist. Quite a few people have even questioned if President Putin is mentally stable. Basically, the entire Ukrainian war thing has been confusing to just about everyone. All right, the more I am in the subject's mind, I can also, I'm getting senses of um, another subject in the subject's mind, like he, he's definitely being influenced by someone else. Um, the image I'm getting of the subject kind of, you know, in his mind, I'm seeing the subject like, um, and this is just an ethereal body. But this is the person inside subject A's mind. Well, one of Farsight's previous projects, Human Leadership Has Been Compromised, focused on how certain extraterrestrials have managed to manipulate the minds of various leaders. Now, in that project, we focused on Catholic popes. But the idea was more general. And if this could happen to a pope, it could happen to any human leader. So it was natural for us to wonder if this type of manipulation could also be involved in the situation with President Putin. Now, let me be clear that we at Farsight have no desire or intention to demonize any human leadership, including President Putin. We just wanted to find out if he is acting all on his own or if there has been some level of manipulation with respect to his thinking process and his emotions. And if President Putin is being manipulated, we wanted to know by whom. Okay, so subject B seems to have a very stressed out mind and it seems to have like a huge number of these like weird looking non-physical beings or non-physical subjects, I'll say, uh, that are sort of like a bee's nest, sort of hiving around subject B's mind. And they all have these like connectors that are connecting them to subject B. And they're all doing sort of the same thing that we saw the other non-physical subject doing. He's, they're, they're like yanking him in directions. They're like manipulating his thoughts and his mind just feels really stressful. You see, if President Putin can be manipulated with respect to a major war, then it should be clear that any human leader can be manipulated. No leader is safe. It would be foolish to think that any national leadership is protected, or could be protected, that is, unless conditions changed in some fundamental way that would allow for the necessary protection. These other influences do, do not like me messing with their work. They are quite angry, but trying to hold on to the subject they're dealing with while dealing with me, trying to keep me out of, of the mind and this, during this deep mind probe, they, they don't seem to like me here. Uh, they're unhappy with me being here. Uh, it, it seems to be messing uh, with their work. They're very focused on me. Well, my existence inside the subject's mind can possibly counteract what they are doing. Well, President Putin obviously gets advice from his inner circle. Major contributors in that inner circle include Sergei Shoigu, the Minister of Defense, Alexander Portnikov, the director of the Federal Security Service. Valery Gerasimov, the chief of general staff of the Russian Armed Forces. Nikolai Patrushev, the secretary of the Security Council. And Sergei Narishkin, the director of the Foreign Intelligence Service. Now, that list is a bit too much for us to focus on in one Farsight project, but it would be good to know if there is some level of manipulation happening with respect to some of President Putin's most important advisors. So we decided to include Sergei Shoigu, the Minister of Defense, and Alexander Bortnikov, the Director of the Federal Security Service, which is an agency that evolved out of the former KGB of the Soviet Union. 
If there is more widespread manipulation going on, then it would seem that those two advisors would be vulnerable. And being a curious bunch, we wanted to take a look using our highly trained group of remote viewers to see what was happening. Sensing the presence of another subject in his mind, uh, and I'll call this subject Z. Uh, and this is like a non-human subject. You kind of have these like kind of hard protrusions on the top of their head, something hard on top of their head. And um, it's kind of hard things on their face as well. The remote viewers are all trained to do deep mind probes when focusing on a target subject. Also, when they detect that there is someone else in a subject's head who could be manipulating thoughts and emotions, the remote viewers are trained to describe that manipulative subject, using only a letter to identify the subject. Then the viewers are trained to follow that subject who is doing the manipulation back to whoever is giving that subject instructions regarding what to do. This way we can follow the trail up the chain of command, so to speak. Finally, we wanted to know a bit more about President Putin himself. What kind of a person was he before he was Vladimir Putin? So one move and exercise in this project was to subject M, who is the subject that is currently known as President Vladimir Putin, but in his life immediately prior to his first incarnation on Earth. To become a president of a nation requires a significant skill set, and it is unlikely that someone learns all this in only one life on this planet. So it is interesting to see what kind of a person Vladimir Putin was before he entered Earth's reincarnational cycle. And again, the remote viewers knew nothing of this. They were only told to move to subject M and to describe that subject.